Students will take uh, two more numericals, number six and seven. The question is that uh, how to find uh, basically this question is uh, when uh, you want to find the pressure uh, at a certain depth below the surface of a liquid. The question is asked in the form like a swimmer jumps into a swimming tank. Okay, I'll just write the question for you. Then we'll discuss. swimmer jumps into a swimming tank and was swimming at 8 meter below the surface of the tank. So a tank, the swimmer is 8 meters below somewhere here. Okay. The swimmer is somewhere here like this, 8 meter below. Uh, you have to just find the pressure. It's a damn good easy question. And uh, what is given is density of water 1000 kg meter, meter cube. The G value is 9.8 meter per second square. Atmosphere pressure is uh, 1.013 10 to 5 Newton uh, per meter square. So I'll just write the data for you as well. It's given in the question is GU to take 9.8 meter per second square. The density of water is uh, 10 to 3 kg per meter cube and uh, the atmosphere pressure P0 is uh, 1.013 10 to 5 Pascal that is Newton per meter square that is Pascal. So <coughs> for the sake of simplicity I will not uh, consider this uh, 0.13 to complicate the situations to a uh, just I'll write uh, 1 10 to 5 here. So uh, I'll approximate it to be 10 to 5. I'll just take this value. Here I'll take, uh, might be this value or uh, 10, whatever, but you can write like that. See, let us put the actual values and uh, try to find the answer. See how much we're getting. Now the person is uh, here, the point we're considering is a point, what is the pressure at this point, which is lying uh, 8 meter below, suppose the height is h, uh, the point here, this surface is free surface is exposed to atmosphere, the atmosphere pressure is P0, so here this point the pressure is P0, here the pressure at uh, this point due to this height is only rho gh, so the total pressure here is the sum of these two pressures, so pressure at any point is the addition of the uh, all the pressures lying above it, so pressure is uh, found to be, pressure of the swimmers is uh, P0 plus uh, rho g h. So therefore this is 1.013 10 to 5 okay plus 10 to 3 plus into 9.8 into what is the height 8 meter right put it. So it's all this to get the answer. There is nothing uh, uh, more uh, complicated here it is just a multiplication and addition of things. So I'll just write the final answer for you solve it you will get the answer like uh, 1.79 into 10 to 5. How come this is 10, 10 to 4, uh, 10 to 4 uh, is common, let me solve it for you here, you can take this as 1, I take this as 10, okay, you can approximately take this as 1 and take this as 10, so it is 10 to 5, see here 10 to 5 plus this is 10 to 4 into 8, right, so you can take uh, 10 to 4 common, it is uh, 10 plus so 18 is 10 is to 4. This is uh, nearly 1.8 into 10 is to 5. This is approximated. This is round of it to this. You will drop this value. If you drop this, then also you will get 1.8 10 is to 5. The answer matches. So this is the final answer, and the pressure is there, and uh, we have expressed all these things in SI system. Therefore. This pressure is this much Pascal or Newton per meter square. So this is the answer to this question. Let's move on to another question that is uh, question number 7. So 
let us try to question number seven i will uh, consider a question from friction that uh, there is an inclined plane there is an inclined plane uh, in which uh, the body starts sliding uh, over the inclined plane making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal after certain displacement the body has velocity this so what the question is there is a block over here it uh, it is released and it starts moving downward and uh, it has a velocity of 2 meter per second when it has fallen down by a certain distance the distance is uh, not given so I'll call this distance x. Okay, you can call this distance x when it falls by distance x. Speed acquired is this. So initially, its uh, speed is zero. Now this angle is 45 given. If uh, coefficient of friction between uh, body and the uh, surface is uh, 0 0.5, so this uh, surface is uh, friction which is uh, 0 0.5. Find the displacement of the body uh, from the start. So this x is uh, actually to be found. You find the displacement. Now looking for the solution. This is a friction is considered. Uh, our uh, our uh, aim is to find the. Uh, displacement so i can use one simple equation that is v square is u square plus 2s that kinematical equation can be used you have to remember that uh, to use that kinematical equations uh, we must know what is the acceleration involved and in that case you cannot take the acceleration as g because uh, if so let me just write the equation v square is uh, u square plus 2s okay v square is u square plus 2a s and uh, this equation is applicable for straight line motion this also is a straight line motion first this is valid now what is a here a is the acceleration in the direction of displacement this is your s i have taken suppose so this is the displacement direction then uh, along that direction what is the acceleration in uh, when i release an object uh, like this uh, from certain certain height uh, it falls down under gravity like this so in that case the displacement direction is this and the uh, uh, displacement direction is this then the acceleration is we take we're taking g or minus g whatever because uh, in that direction there is only one acceleration that is acceleration due to gravity but when the displacement of the body is like this like so you cannot take this g for this uh, displacement just like this here you can see the displacement is like this so for such kind of uh, displacement we cannot take g directly for this case because it is not a vertically downward motion it is uh, inclined motion so we will uh, uh, see whatever the net acceleration of yes this is the net acceleration possible this is the net acceleration if uh, friction is not there then we will take this uh, component of uh, this acceleration along this direction that is this component I will take but because uh, some acceleration might also be there so we will consider uh, take into account uh, those uh, and, uh, producing that acceleration here uh, if uh, g is like this g is vertical downward if this angle is uh, 45 then uh, this angle will also be 45 okay this angle will also be 45 so I'll just resolve uh, if g is like this you know the g is like this vertical downward this is 45 then this is 45 this will be g cos 45 and this is g sin 45 so that means uh, this acceleration is actually pulling this body down therefore this acceleration is to be like this if in case of uh, or the absence of uh, this friction if this is zero then this acceleration is enough to find this uh, uh, displacement okay 
If this uh, friction is not there, then uh, this displacement is found by putting uh, A as a G sine 45 because uh, in this direction of displacement, this is the acceleration. This is a G. Okay. But uh, now in this case, uh, there is another new force is given. Uh, this acceleration will be reduced by the friction acting in the upward direction because the moment of the body is in the downward direction. So there will be one uh, acceleration will be acting in this direction. And uh, that also acceleration you will take into consideration. So the net acceleration here is the sum of uh, the difference of these two accelerations as the body is finally going down. So you can say that this G, G sine 45 is greater than the acceleration that is produced here due to friction, acceleration due to frictional force. So the difference is this A here, K unit. So this is basically uh, G sine 45. Okay, G sine 45 minus uh, acceleration due to friction. Acceleration due to friction. Now, so what is acceleration due to friction separately and C and put it here. So I'll just uh, find the A net across then see here how much I get A net. Now, A, because the, these are the things known to me, G by root 2, this is G by root 2. So, this only is required uh, uh, acceleration due to the frictional force. The frictional force is, uh, again, that is uh, mu n. So, acceleration is uh, due to frictional force is uh, mu n divided by the mass of the object. Again, the, the mass of the object is not given to us in the question. So, might be it will be cancelling out. So, we will see that. Then uh, acceleration due to this frictional mass is not given. Okay. Mm, yeah, the mass is not given. So anyway, then the acceleration due to friction part. Uh, frictional force is uh, how much is first C? And this is uh, 0 0.5. And normal reaction is uh, mg cos theta. Okay. This is uh, normal reaction is mg cos theta because the uh, normal reaction will act in this direction. Okay, that is uh, this factor. This is acceleration you multiply mass, and this is the weight in this direction, component of the weight in this direction, and this is normal reaction. So, normal reaction is mg cos 45. So, mg cos uh, 45 divided by the mass of the object, the mass cancels. So, this is uh, g by 2, and this is uh, cos 45 uh, 1 for root 2. So, this is basically g by 2 root 2. This is uh, g by 2 root 2. And uh, this is g by root 2. So the difference is uh, g by root 2 minus g by 2 root 2. So it is, uh, you can see here in the next page here. Or we will calculate here itself. Uh, okay, let us uh, okay, look, let us take another page. We will move to next page. The net acceleration is required. The net acceleration is the acceleration which is due to gravity minus acceleration due to frictional force. The gravitational part is uh, g sine 45 that we have seen. Here, g sine 45. So it is g sine 45 minus. This is a uh, mu acceleration due to uh, the frictional force is uh, the frictional force comes out to be acceleration is mu uh, into g into cos of 45. So that is uh, g by root to common. This is uh, one minus. This is half. So this is 0.5. This is uh, uh, g divided by 2 root 2. So this is the net acceleration. So therefore velocity v square is equal to u square plus 2as. Here in this case uh, v square by 2a here s that implies uh, s is equal to v square that is 4 divided by 2 into a. This is a net acceleration that comes out to be g divided by 2 root 2. 2 to cancels. So therefore this is uh, 4 root 2 by 10 and uh, approximately I to 10 here. 4 root 2. 4 into root 2 is uh, 1 point uh, 4 1 divided by 10 this is uh, 4 into 0 0.14 so that comes out to be whatever is that is the answer in meter this is the answer okay